Hey, I am 3 Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. This might be a bit of a hard talk for some people. The topic is, are you overweight? Are you fat, right? And then, do you want to be? When I was 65 pounds heavier, I notoriously said I was fat and happy. So the comments were coming and I was just like, I don't know. I'm still dating. <laughs> uh... I still have friends. I'm still like moving and shaking in the community. I don't have any real incentive to take the time um, to address the uh, morbid obesity that I was. And that was fine. That's my prerogative. I am my person, right? Some people don't feel that way. Some people... Um, Understand that they are overweight and um, might be to some degree in denial about the circumstances and how much control they have over themselves, right? And so um, the, the backstory to this discussion is... I walked into work one day, um, of my many hats that I wear, I'm contracted to lead, um, and manage large groups of, of people and, um, kind of demonstrate how to create relational meetings and, um, and, and um, communication that elicits trust and empathy with potential clients, right? Nobody wants to be talked down to. Nobody wants to be impressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, people just want to know that you care and that you understand um, when you are, at the end of the day, selling a service and at this point, we're so oversaturated with people and media and all these things. We can recognize a fake when somebody's just not being authentic and genuine in, in their intentions. Um, for lack of a better term, you know, sometimes people come off as salesy, right? We don't, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. So in part, um, in my entire life, um, that's one thing I can be hired to do. <laughs> um, anyhow, I walk into this particular room and, um, there, there's the, the, the group I'll, I'll be leading. And I like to open the day with a conversation and it's usually something relevant that has been occurring. And so prior to that, I had been watching a documentary on obesity in America and, um, you know, they're interviewing different people and they're saying fast food is a problem and all of this. And I, I was saying, you know, at the end of the day, it boils down to choice and so the the people in my group were saying what a lot of people say. They go to outliers. Well, you know, there's diseases that can cause weight gain. Um, you know, there's uh, the stresses of the world. There's food deserts. Um, you know, my partner's not supportive. Well, of course. But those are those are outliers. Your your typical run of the mill person has gained weight because the calorie the 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 calories that they're eating are not being expended in in surplus. Right there's a there's a you're you're, you're eating you're eating too much and then um and then and then you're not burning 
those calories off. And even now while I'm saying it, I'm trying to be sensitive, but at some point we, we do have to be honest, right? So the diseases, the food deserts, all of that, yes. <laughs> Time, right? Um, but we're going back to if you want to lose the weight. So if you want to, then you have to move. You have to make a decision that that's what's going to happen. Um, and I have brought up, you know, my time growing up was we were we were pretty poor and we were also vegetarians. And um, somebody in the room was shocked because they were trying to sell me that, um, you know, there's there's food deserts. It's impossible. You can't get fresh produce, blah, blah, blah. And it's like. Yes, but if if you make a decision and you you can follow through on that decision. So anyway, what does it look like today um, for the average person? I continuously do these videos because it's for somebody. If this video isn't for you, just go to a different video. That I mean, it's fine. Maybe you want to... <laughs> write some negative comment, whatever, right? So so that's that. But at this point, we're six and a half minutes in. This is for sure somebody who who wants to lose weight, has made that decision, and they're not going to let anything stop them. And you're also in somewhat, you're just not in like some rural city in Alabama where you are experiencing a food desert. That's not a common occurrence, right? We're talking to your average person. So here's how I started my process. First of all, I gave myself a time limit. I actually, um, at the time, that, that Instagram is, is, no, is no more, but I gave myself five months. And I called it, I recorded it, and it was the glow up. G-L-O-U-P. And it was kind of like, yeah, well, let's see what happens. So you Google and you you learn things. And um, one thing that I learned was that I was not drinking enough water. So I started with, number one, doubling the water intake that I already was drinking, which was not a lot. I was drinking one of those 16.9 water bottles, Dasani or whatever, maybe every three days. So I started with two and then eventually by the end of the five months, the ideal is that you want to drink your body weight in water every day. Now, one thing I hear when I say this is, well, Key, I already drink a lot of water and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, okay. So good. <laughs> so you're already there. Now, make sure you're recording so you know, because you might think that you're drinking 150 ounces a day, but all you really know is that you drink a lot of water. So that might end up being... Less than a hundred, you know, it's about accountability and, and resilience, the whole, the bounce back, the glow up of it all, right? So number one, drink your body weight in water. Um, number two, I, I, I do, I hate vegetables. I knew that was a big part of it. They say out of your plate, a half of it should be vegetables, um, and so one thing I do know, and so, I, and, and uh, by the way, a lot of this was like just Googling my questions. The questions I asked myself is like, how do you eat vegetables when you don't like them? What I stumbled across was, you know, find vegetables that suit your palate. So I have a sweet tooth. Some people savory, some people salty. There's a vegetable for that. There is. And so to this day, <laughs> I will eat a carrot. I I like um I like carrots. I like uh, sweet snap peas. Um 
I like sweet potatoes. This kind of thing. Um, incidentally, I do like broccoli a lot and, and spinach. But test it. See, see what it is that, that you like. Um, and then half of, half of your, your plate. Ideally, um, you know, five servings of vegetables. That's roughly one cup per serving. Um, 100 grams, um, just Google it, Google it, baby. Um, and then, uh, three to five servings of fruit. So then that leaves protein after that. Um, and that's just, just meat. Just go get you any, any old, any kind of meat. You're fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then whole grains, and you'll have to Google that too. Steel cut oats or um, rolled oats, but you want to read the ingredients. Um, you know, uh, polenta. I found out today is a is a whole is a whole food. So these things you can get at a food bank, and the idea is to just get started. I make room for the fact that people overthink things and they don't know where to start. Um, yeah, that's fine. So so pick one thing. Say, I'm going to maybe keep eating how I've been eating, but make sure initially I get five servings of vegetables a day. I eat that first and then I continue on with the cakes. And then once you've got that down, give it a month. It doesn't matter. We're prayerfully, we're going to live long lives. Prayerfully, you are going to live a long life. So what's a month of getting it together, getting a routine together where you're eating consistently five servings of vegetables a day? Second month, now you incorporate the fruits. Third month, you know, and so on and so forth until it's just been a complete overhaul. Pick one thing. Initially, the water. The water was it for me. All right. Um, and then that's the other thing. I know you hear organic this, free range that. Initially, just get the basics down. And I might if uh, maybe like a, a personal trainer friend wants to hop on here with me. One day they can explain how in that process, right, and weightlifting and that kind of thing, form is everything. It doesn't matter how much you can lift. If you're doing it incorrectly, you're going to hurt yourself. So in relation to food, man, just get the basics down. Just get the, the, the vegetables and the meat and all this in you. So this could mean, this is what I did, canned Canned veggies, canned fruits, all of this is available at uh, food banks, churches, um, as far as like cheap goes, even at Walmart on a budget. You could do this instead of your cakes and your pastas, your breads. Okay. Um... So start there, and then as time goes on and your income improves, you know, then, then you go to frozen, maybe. You go to frozen produce, frozen meats. Then you hop over to lean meats and fresh produce. After that, you go to organic and, you know, um, uh, uh, pasture-fed or free range, right? And then after that, you, you know, you increase your your uh, fish o over your poultry and your and your beef, right? So like it's staggered and it's steps. And all of this is is at the food bank and even to that. Remember, this is a decision that you're making. 
So the food bank, you might have to, it, it could look a million ways, right? It might mean on your lunch break, you go over to the food bank. What about the refrigerated items? I don't know. Maybe it looks like you putting it in your work fridge. Maybe it looks like you having a friend pick it up for you. I don't know. But I, my, 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 my point really is, if you want to begin addressing your weight, you've got to to stop making any type of excuses or the 2024 PC way, if that's what you need, you have got to make a decision. You are driving this. If you have kids, actually, it's because of, it's because of my kids that I, I started to lose the weight because I wasn't eating vegetables and you're a kid you have to but I'm not gonna sit here and be eating all the <laughs> all the cakes in your face and then sit and then look at you and tell you you have to eat the vegetables and you have to it really is so your kids aren't an excuse Throw away, throw away the chicken nuggets, or you can you can just tell them as we go. Listen, this is the last box that's in the freezer. Mom's not buying anymore. Dad's not buying anymore. Grandma's not not buying anymore. Just so you know, and you can prep them for it. Okay, biblically, our bodies are our temples. They are gifted to us from the Lord. We are meant to maintain them. And again, this isn't me <laughs> judging you, baby. I was, I was morbidly obese. <laughs> and I still, I call uh, I'm still old, thick old, thick old stallion over here. You know what I mean? So I'm not, this isn't judgment. This is, I mean, just the truth. You, you gotta, you have to, you, you make that decision. And if you needed a message, this is it. So, um, yeah, I think at some point I'll probably have somebody hop on here with me and, and maybe discuss what physical exercises you can do. I know we got big. We can't be all up in here. Zumba. <laughs> Not for a big old. You you know what I mean? It might start. There's actually. Here's some free game. There's a dude named. Get fit with Rick. Get fit with Rick. On YouTube. In a pinch. He'll get you through. It's uh you know low pressure. Just kind of walking in place. You might, oh hey, you know what I mean. Hit a hit a two step with them. Um, but the information is out there. Google your questions. The questions in your head, even the doubts. I'm scared of. You know, I also recently uh made a video about clothing closets. For when you start losing the weight, uh, you could go, you know, get a whole new outfit. Or you could save your money and go to a clothing closet instead. Because, baby, the, the agenda is that you will continue to lose weight. So, if you buy the outfits at a size 8, you just wasted all this money. Because, baby, <laughs> the Lord actually ordained a size 6. Now you got, you have to go all over again. Okay? I got you. I I really I really want you to 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 make a decision and stand on it. You'll feel so good. You'll feel so good about it because you also went ahead and did something you set out to accomplish. Uh if you would like a a little accountability buddy, that's another service I provide. If you're in the Missoula area, I will come to your house, knock, knock, knocking on the door and go work out with you. 
how you meet the trainer at the gym, baby, I'm coming to you. We, we're we're going to walk. I'm going to pick you up at your door. We're going to walk, drop you off at your door. I want you to thrive, baby. You know? That's what it is at the end of the day. Um, so that's all I really wanted to say about, about physical health is yes, you can, you can have your excuses and if you want to hold on to it and I, I know there's reasons there's outliers, but the average person doesn't have a disease that makes them morbidly obese, maybe chubby. That's legit. There's all kinds of pills. That, that make you gain weight, but that's not obese. Don't, don't get, don't get, don't gas, don't let people gas you up. The pills don't make you obese. They just put that water weight on you. Get, you get a little thing around your stomach. You gotta be, you know, honest with yourself, but that's only if you're tired of being fat. If you're cool with it, this, again, is not for you. If you have whatever disease you have, a food a food desert, obviously, obviously I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Somebody's gonna comment something anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Folks will be folks in. Anyway, I am three plus key. I'm your favorite social worker. If you want to hear. The truth and like and and I believe in intact and and coof. I, I it's not in it's not in me to beat somebody up. That's why I say it's your it's your choice. But you have to make that decision. If that's you, um, you know, send a comment below. Maybe even what kind of content, um, you would like to see next in the realm of physical health and we and we could talk about it you know I want all of us to be great I really do believe everybody can win but not everybody will because they don't make the decision to win I mean that's that's just real life anyway I'm three plus key your favorite social worker please subscribe Da, 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 subscribe uh, to this video. It should be popping up here soon. Like, share, comment, comment where you are, what you want. Uh, if you're if you're ready to make the decision today, and I'll talk to you later.